So what I'd like to show today is a quick video of how we make a zone from start to finish. Our team is made up of four artists. We work very closely with the 10 exterior level designers and one intern. All together there's about 15 of us that make all of the zones. Now the best part of starting a zone is just figuring out what we want to do. This is sort of a blue sky meeting where we just hash out what we want to do where just about anything goes. And we talk about anything we want to do, try to get everyone excited and just, you know, throw stuff against the wall, see what sticks and, and you know, get going on a zone. It's a very passionate time. It's also the most fun. We'll just try to go around, show people ideas and just get everybody on board and everybody in agreement. That's right, Ed. Of course, not everybody agrees all the time. So once we decide what we want to do, we start to do illustrator maps, we'll start to do basic layouts in our editor, just so we could get a feel for the scale, if it looks right from a gamer's perspective, and just try to get an idea for the kind of spaces we're going to have to deal with. We'll start to gather resource material and other art, but the next biggest thing that happens is going to be our concepts. That's going to give us a roadmap for the zone. It's going to give us our colors, our textures, what our trees, rocks, and things are going to look like. So once we have a good idea from our concepts, we can start building all of these little items, trees and rocks and what have you, and our exterior level designers will start building the zone. It's important to remember that every zone we've ever done in WoW has been done by hand. Everything's been placed by hand, every tile set is painted. And almost all of the items in the zone were created for that zone, all based on the color concept. And there's the final version, in-game. 